Welcome to Lucid Thoughts. I'm testing water. So since uh, Cape Town, we've been struggling with water um, for the last how many months? Um, and most people decided to you know, rather drink bottled water um, and stay away from the tap water. We might be surprised of, um, that some bottled water could be actually dangerous for us to drink as well. We have eight types of, uh, eight types of water, um, as you can see. Tap water, normal tap water, we have boiled tap water, and then I have water from my well. I'm going to test that out as well. I bought this um, HTH quick test. It's for swimming pools, but it's water. These little strips, yesterday I actually filmed this thing as well, and I kind of messed it up because I didn't use it correctly. Uh, now I know how to use it correctly. Um, they show the different things, but we're just going to check out the three, uh, the three top ones. We're going to be testing for chlorine. Uh, for the pH level and um, for alkaline. Um, I'm going to actually start with the, the tap water, um, the well water and then the boiled water. This is the tap water. Build it up. Now I have to do this correctly, keep this thing close here on the white piece of paper. And then they say it's a very very quick dip. Blip. Keep it up for 15 seconds. Then they say we have to test it. So. Tap water, let's keep it here. It's pretty good. It's like 0 .0 0 0.1 chlorine. Brilliant. Tap water, nothing bad about that. Uh, the pH level, that's about 7.3 pH level for tap water. Not bad. And then alkaline for tap water, hmm, that's about 20. It's about 20. Okay, right, next one is my well water. I already used yesterday, so that's all that's left. I forgot to actually go out and get more, uh, but it's fine. I'll just tilt the glass so this little stick can go in. Um, let's see, quickly. Zero chlorine, obviously. The pH level, yeah, but there we go, boy. It's about 8.0. The alkaline, um, yeah, it's very high, about 220 alkaline. That's my well water. Okay, now. Let's test the boiled water. See the difference between boiled tap water and normal water. Okay, here we go. Actually, that's 0 0.1. It's all, but the chlorine basically stays the same. The pH level also stays the same. That's about mm, it's so hard. These these colors are more or less the same. No, I actually don't know. The color is changing. I don't know. That could be like a seven, but it's it's fairly ideal. Uh, it's not very high. Um, the alkaline is not very hard, uh, but it stays 20, so it's, it doesn't make a, really a big difference. Right, let's start with the, the bottles. Um, this is taking longer than what I thought, but I'm going to cut this video like a mother. Right, let's go to Titsikama. Titsikama, here we go. Quick dip. Blip. That's a very low amount of chlorine. It's about a zero, 0 0.1. Um, pH is not high at all. 6.6 It's higher than the bottle says the alkaline hmm, Not very high. It's about 20 Hmm not the best water next up a quartz I forgot to refill the glass of water with the other water and I was testing out this bottle with two strips and I don't think I have enough left. I will be pissed off, but I'll make a plan. Right, let's try this again. A quartz. Idiot. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's better. Okay, the chlorine, nothing, 0 0.1, very good. Uh, the pH level is much higher. Oh much, much higher. That's about an eight point wow. An eight eight point one. That that is that's quite legit. Um, the alkaline level is freaking high. It's awesome. It's uh, yeah, two 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 thirty, two uh, two twenty two thirty. Brilliant, brilliant, um, brilliant. That's very very good. A quartz. That's a good water to have. Go right next. Aquila. Chlorine level very low. Zero point. Or, or every everything is about zero point one. Um, the pH level not that high. Well, that's about a seven. The alkaline, yeah, that's about, not very high. Uh, it's 20. See, these things make sense. 
Okay, right. right. I have four strips left since I made a little mess up. What an idiot. I almost forgot to tap this out again. So now I'm going to have to choose between these five. You know what? I'm going to take away the Pick and Bay water. Don't drink this shit. It's horrible. 4 and 30, 4 and 50. There's a reason why this is so cheap, so I'm just going to toss that. Oh, that was supposed to fall. Um, bonacu. Bonacua? Bonacua. See, it sounds like French stuff. Why? Just call it water. That's bad. Chlorine. Zero, zero, zero point one. All of the chlorine in these bottles and even the tap water is fine. We don't have to worry about um, chlorine in our water. Uh, the pH level is 7.4, 7.5, more or less there. The alkaline, not that high. It's about 30. Nah, that's about, yeah, about 20. So not too impressed with Bonacqua. Right, now we have Nestle, Pure Life. Now, I do know that this is international. I know that two of these are Coca-Cola. Volpre is Coca-Cola. Oh, and Bonacqua is Coca-Cola. Nestle, Pure Life. Let's see what this monkey does. So, the chlorine, once again, 0 0.1. And then the pH level looks pretty good. That's about 8. Um, which makes sense, um, because the alkaline is very high. Well, let's say 220, 210. That is, that is good water. Nestle, pure life. Well done, dudes. Valpre. This is the one that I usually choose um, when I grab a bottle of water. I can pronounce it. That's really why. Valpre. Okay, there are a few of these that I can pronounce. I actually like Titsukama. Titsukama. So let's check out the Volpre. <laughs> okay. Here we go, Volpre. Here we go, Volpre. Here we go. Shut up. Okay, once again, chlorine, very low. The pH level isn't that high. I can say 7.4, 7.5. And the alkaline isn't that high. That's about a 60. Oh, Volpre, my old friend. How you disappoint me. Okay, here's the last test. And this is the most expensive one. International brand. Beautiful bottle, I freaking love it, Evian. Now this was like about 19 Rand for a 500ml bottle. It's very expensive, it's the most expensive bottled water I think on the market here in South Africa, I guess. And I actually have a feeling that this is legit. But watch me going into shops and buying a freaking 19 Rand bottle of water, people are going to think I'm mad. Oh, it just looks delicious. Oh. It tastes naturey. Here we go. Chlorine. That seems a little bit higher than the others. That seems like a, a 0 0.2. Check this out. The pH level. 8.1. 8.2 actually I would say. About an 8.2. And the alkaline is off the freaking charts dude. That's like higher than the max. That's about like 200 and freaking 80 or something like that. This is the best water. This is the best water. If you want the best water, Evian. Definitely Evian. That's insane. None of them are showing high signs of chlorine, which is awesome. So we shouldn't worry about the chlorine in the water we drink. The pH levels of all of these are pretty good, but there are some um, that show extremely high pH levels. Basically what we have to look at is alkaline um, in our water. The higher alkaline, um, the better. It neutralizes basically the acids in our body. So that's why Evian, oh let me put it here in front of these oaks, a quartz, I remember Nestle, eh, fine enough, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, bad. Evian, Nestle Pure Life, a quartz, and then my well water. Now the thing about the well water that I have, we are lucky enough to have an underground river flowing through our garden. That's why there is no chlorine in here. Um, the pH level is high, alkaline is high. So my well water, Evian, Nestle Pure Life, and Aquartz. Those are the best ones to have. Cheers, guys.